we need to stop i don't know if y'all noticed or y'all heard anything today a uh, rapper by the name of julio fulio he got shot because the nigga decided to leak his address bro when are we gonna stop like all seriousness when are we gonna stop like when are we gonna stop when are we going to understand us as black people bro the the shit that we talk about is not cute it's not sweet it's not to be glorified why is it so why is it so difficult for us bro i don't want to hear nothing about oppression that shit happened a long time ago bro that shit happened a very long time ago bro we're literally doing it ourselves we cannot blame the white man for this we keep doing it we keep doing it there's there's we're it's like we're we're not lost bro we're not lost i i refuse to believe that we're lost bro I refuse to believe that we're lost, bro. Everyone is lost, to be honest with you. Everyone is lost, bro. But not everyone is like that, you know? Not everyone has to be like that. Why is the Asian community not full of gangsters and thugs? They have their gangsters and thugs, but why, why, why? Why not, though? Why not the majority? Is it the fact that the small percentage of black people are the only people that we see on the internet? Or is it a bigger majority so is it like 20 percent just being popularized and affecting all of our children or is it 80 percent purposely just being all over the internet bro because it only happens with black people bro quaver with the rolling dice pop smoke leaking his address pmb not even gang affiliated location leaked his address niggas is talking about smoking on dead ops that's not cool bro like nothing is cool that's not that's not that's not a flex bro that's not a flex. It's not a flex. You either get your booty taken in prison or you in a coffin. That's it, bro. That's pretty much it, bro. That's pretty much it. Like, I get it, bro. The system or whatever. We all behind that. The system. Oh, my God. The system is meant to bring us down. But at what point are we going to come as a community and admit that it's our fault, bro? It's our fault, nigga. It's our fault. It's our fault. Like, I get it, bro. We got the culture. We got the swag. We got the bling. We got the chains. We got the, we got the, like, I get that, bro. But it's our fault, bro. We like to listen to niggas getting shot every day. Hence why they blow up. Get this stupid fly off my my screen, bro. Why are we like this? Why are we all, why is our community such a crash out community bro why we a crash out community when it comes to black on black violence but when it comes to black equality bro we're not a crash out community bro we're not a crash out community what has changed since the 2020 riots the 2020 riots bro yeah i remember when when like what 60 percent, bro was black people just looting stores y'all remember that y'all rich or y'all still broke living in the projects like my nigga this, we we as a community like how do y'all have faith in our own community bro like i get it bro i am proud to be a black man a black sexy dominican poppy i am proud to be an afro hispanic black man bro but i'm not proud of my community bro not what my community is all about hoodlums and, and 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 304s and all of that bro i ain't proud of that you know what i'm saying and i get it a 304 is worldwide a hoodlum a delinquent is worldwide bro but where where does it always happen it always happens with us bro people of my skin tone you know people of this type of hair bro only happens with us bro i don't cross the street because there's a group of white people that I'm afraid of. I'm crossing the street when there's a group of black niggas in 96 degree weather and they all have ski masks on. But I'm a hating ass nigga. Go get some money. Go do this. Go do that. Nigga. You have food stamps too. Why are you coming at me? I don't understand that. I don't understand that, bro. The only thing I could do, really, the only thing anybody could do is just talk about it. Because nothing's going to change, bro. Nothing's gonna change. I got a friend of mine who's working at a summer camp, bro. Four year old little black boy. Four year old little black boy. Don't even know how to spell. 
Four year old black boy don't even know how to write his name, doesn't even know his ABCs. They asked little bro, what's the first letter of the alphabet? Nigga said E. Are we just a stupid community, bro? Are we just a stupid, a stupid community? Are we just a community that's meant to just... Because it's just, it keeps getting worse, bro. It hasn't gotten better. It hasn't gotten better, bro. It hasn't gotten better. It hasn't. It hasn't, bro. It's not even the same. I'd understand if it's the same. Because if it's the same, if it's the same routine, then we could solve it, bro. But now it's even worse. Nigga, it's worse. It's worse. It's worse. So what are we, like, I'm, I... There's a reason why, like, I don't really believe in the black power stuff, bro. I don't believe in that stuff. I don't. I don't be buying that, bro. There's no way we're going to. I'm not going to believe in the black power stuff, bro. When the main thing we focus on is Zeus Network, Sexy Red, Julio Fulio, or, or, or Baby Kia, bro. Those are, those are our role models. Zeus Network, bro. And y'all yeah, females know what I'm talking about, bro. Zeus Network. <laughs> Fried us, nigga. Fried us. Then we got fucking um sexy red. I ain't gonna lie, she going crazy. But she is just frying our brains. And then we got freaking hoodlum delinquent thugs, bro. A hoodlum delinquent thug. Yes, bro. A hoodlum delinquent thug. That's not cool. That's not a flex. That's nothing to be proud of, bro. I just wanted to say that because like I like like, bro, another, another, another black artist died by the same stupid shit? Just like that, bro? Nigga died just like that? Another one. And it's like, we, it's not supposed to be normalized. You feel me? It's not. That's not normal, nigga. That's not normal. You should be able to post your location. But I get it, nigga was grew up in the hood and shit. Okay, goofy nigga. Since you grew up in the hood, why the fuck are you fucking uploading your fucking shit? That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense to me. I grew up in the hood. I'm not a hood nigga. I grew up in the hood. I know damn well, bro, if I get to a certain level, I'm not posting my fucking location like a goofy. I'm not doing that. All I'm saying is, bro, I'm, I'm just, I'm very disappointed, bro. Like, it's just, and I know I'm going to get in the comments, who the hell are you? Who the fuck are you? Bro, I'm a black man. Just like you, nigga. But I'm an average black man, bro. I don't need to sell drugs to think I'm cool. I don't need to smoke weed to cure my depression because my dad left me, nigga. All of our dads left us, nigga. Majority of us, nigga. I'm just one of the niggas that didn't really give a fuck, bro. Like, I'm one of the niggas that just kept pushing, bro, because I'm aiming for greatness, nigga. Yes, I was on food stamps too, nigga. Guess what? Gotta move forward, bro. Why the fuck? Because your dad left you and you gotta go through food stamps, do you have to shoot a nigga? How the hell does that even make sense? Because you mad, nigga? Shut your little ass up. What you mad about? No one, like, bro, you came in, like, yes, I get it, bro. You came into this life. It wasn't your fault. No, I never said it was your fault. But it's not the end. It's not. Why we got to do this? It's just corny, bro. I'm tired of seeing in my goddamn phone, bro. Niggas getting shot for sharing their locations, bro. It's the same description. Nigga with a dreadhead ski mask. Nigga with a... Low tape of fate, ski mask, nigga with an afro, ski mask, niggas, 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 niggas. It's annoying, bro. And honestly, I have no hopes of anything getting better. I don't. But I just wanted to say this because it, it, it's very, it's very, it's obviously fucking us up, bro. Social media is fucking us up, obviously, bro. It's obviously fucking us, it's, it's, it's obviously messing up our intelligence. It's obviously affecting us in the decisions that we make, bro. 
So I just wanted to post this so it could reach to a certain group of people, bro, who maybe are thinking like they about to crash out, bro. I would like to just have at least one little black nigga or 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 a dude my age or maybe even older to just 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 wait a minute, bro. It's not the end, bro. I know that nigga shot and slept with your girl. But think of it, think of it like this, bro. You went through all of that and you still alive, bro. You got a purpose. You got a purpose. Do I know what's your purpose? No. The one the one above all knows, bro. The one above all knows your purpose cuz he made you go through all of that. There's no way you went through all of that and that's and that's it, bro. That's where you belong. Absolutely not. You went through all of that for a reason. You got to change it or keep the routine. But at the end of the day, you know where you're going. If you keep going that same rotation, you know where you're going, bro. You know where you're going. You self-aware, bro. So to all my little niggas, bro, listen, I get it. The smoking weed, the 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 riding, the ski masks, the guns, the hoes, the money. I get it, bro. I get it. There's nothing, there's nothing cool about that though. You either dead or you in prison. That's it. There ain't nothing sweet about that, bro. Dead or in prison. Simple as that. That's how simple life is, bro. Find a way to be better. You 14, 15, 16 years old, bro. Sexy Red is not, like, Sexy Red is, come on. Come on, Sexy Red. Come on. Come on. This is for the youth, bro. This is for the niggas 25 and, and, and younger, bro. I'm, I'm 21. You know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect either, but I'm, I'm, I get it, bro. My dad wasn't around. I get it. Domestic violence. I get it. I've been there. I get it. Food stamps, shelters, rooms. I get it. I've I been there, bro. I've been there. I've been through all of that. I've been through all of that, bro. But it's not the end, bro. I ain't crashed out once. Do I? No idea, bro. No idea. No idea. All I know is that I knew that that wasn't the end. I knew that. And I'm telling you right now, bro, whatever you're going through, it's not the end. It's not. I promise you that. It's not the end. And it's not forever. It's not forever.